Welcome everyone. Where is this crush heading is today's pick a card. So we have four cards on the table, four options. On the left we have the cheetah, number two we have the bat, number three the fire ant, and number four the hyena. Take a deep breath with me. And exhale. I'm going to do a close-up so you can see the cards better. I'm going to give you some more time. Timestamps will be in the description box. And if you need more time, you can pause the video. I'll see you at your option. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me on this fun topic. So you want to know where this crush is heading. Okay, you guys chose the cheetah. I'm seeing fire signs here. So your crush could be a fire sign, you could be a fire sign, or you could have strong fire signs in both or either of your charts. Um, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Okay, so there's something that's fast, fast moving. Is this a fast moving, all consuming crush that you have going on here? I see a lot of passion, a lot of desire, a lot of passion, but we want to know where this crush is heading. Ooh, seems like it's serious. Happy family. So there, there's a potential here for this becoming one big happy family. Possibly involving children or um, blended families if you have children already or if this person already has children. I'm seeing the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups here in this card. So apparently there's this potential of a happy family. Now it all depends also on the energy that you keep putting onto this, right? So we're going to see, ooh, wedding rings, all right. Wow, that's 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 one one kind of a start. Yeah, the, the, the potential is that things will evolve very, very quickly between the two of you. And there's a potential here for wedding bells, wedding rings, union, wedding, married, because it's a soul connection, apparently. Eternal love and an everlasting promise, because you guys, it's very fulfilling to both of you, I feel. And even if there's no kids involved and it's just the two of you, it's like the two of you are can become a happy family. Express your love. There will be expression of love. And there's a suggestion or advice to really go ahead and make a romantic gesture and really express how you feel. Yeah, we have the base of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So where is this crush heading it's changing your love life for the better yeah i mean you've got quite the set of cards here already like i'm where is it heading um this could be a long distance connection relationship or it could be that you're going to travel a lot long distance together it's definitely heading it's really taking you on a journey though it's 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 like an adventure it's taking you on a journey of deeper knowledge of each other. It's like you, you're going to learn a lot from each other. This could involve relocation for some of you. Or you could travel together, get your passports ready. I see a deep connection where you learn a lot from each other. And it, your conversations are never boring. Spending time is never boring. Page of Swords. Someone here could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius strongly in the chart. Ooh, Ten of Cups. I did see the Ten of Cups with that one. So where is this crush heading to ultimate emotional fulfillment, I would say? Queen of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries. This could be you. This could be your person. But there's a lot of attraction here. A lot of emotions for each other. A lot of sensuality, a lot of physical and spiritual attraction toward each other. So I'm seeing vulnerability, I'm seeing intimacy, and I'm seeing it's the kind of stuff that you only read about in books. So I don't know who's reading like uh, romance novels or it's like coming, it's, it's like a, the kind of story that comes out of the pages of a book and it will signify a, a complete change in your life, a total death and rebirth. By the way, things in the bedroom really, really good prospects that I'm being shown here. Um, two of Pentacles, you're going to have to make a big decision here between 
two very important things or one practical thing and this person and it's going to involve you really being willing to take a risk here but it seems like a, the kind of risk that's going to be life-changing but it's it's a very positive life change a very positive outcome if you do take this risk and of course never go against your intuition if your intuition is telling you otherwise just don't watch this video at all and, and change your pile uh, because this is really good. It's life-changing in the best way possible, but it's going to involve taking, having, it's, it's like a, a big decision that's going to involve taking, it's like a big risk. Physical touch will be your love language here, and this person will be very respectful of you. And I'm seeing a proposal, so a marriage proposal here. in a very like classical way or traditional way the number 47 could be relevant to you as well as the number 11 so I'd say to a proposal um, a very positive change in your love life um, I see emotional fulfillment happy family bliss stability a lot of passion sensuality vulnerability intimacy True intimacy, it's not just like physical intimacy, it's its like emotional, spiritual, and mental intimacy as well. Oh, Uranus, this is, this has surprised you or will surprise you the way things develop. It's very surprising here. I'm, have, I'm seeing Taurus and I am seeing Libra here. I'm seeing a true partnership that comes out of the blue and disrupts maybe a certain type of stability that you were used to, but it's um, it's definitely very emotionally fulfilling if you take the risk and life-changing in a very, very positive way. It's a true partnership, and I'm seeing this is going to surprise you. You really don't see this coming. Um, you may even be surprised if you take the risk that how well this will actually work out is what I'm seeing here. Um, Okay, let's get some initials. Initials or places. Let's let's see what the, the letter tiles show us today. So we have an I, I O, Iowa, A, A G, H could be a factor, R, N, A, I. Renee, D, Danae, N, D, Nada, E, I, Diana, T, Ty, A, Tay, Tanya, Tate AI it's it's going to like it's it's the kind of thing that's gonna be like almost too good to be true almost like this whole relationship was AI generated just for you someone here could be into AI Something about grapes as well. Rat, year of the rat. Someone could be of the year of the rat. Grateful, you're gonna be very grateful for this. I see a great relationship. Grand, grandiose. That one fell to the floor. Tau. Tau. Tau could mean something. Sarah. Void. Sarah. Nadia. Nadine. Okay, um, tr 
trade. So you could meet this person, someone maybe is in, in trading or trades. SUV, something about an SUV. Indiana. DNA. Okay. If you can see other names here that would spell out um, either a place or some something here that um, is a reference. Sorry, I just... Go ahead and let me know in the comments, okay? And that is where this crush is heading. I hope this was helpful. I hope it's brought you the clarity that you seek. And let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps you bring you more. Extra content is on Patreon. Information for that is in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for all of you today. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye. Welcome. Option two, you guys chose the bat. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe if you like the channel. Thank you everyone who always likes, shares, subscribes, and comments on these videos. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. Okay, the bat. So air signs. I'm seeing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius right off the bat. <laughs> um, someone, either you or your crush, is needing to change, do a big change in life, but is in denial of that change and putting it off. That's what I'm seeing is the energy here showing um, that a change is needed, but someone is putting it off. Someone is in denial or procrastinating on this change or not wanting to make the changes necessary. Take what resonates. Okay. Okay, community. You could know this person through uh, community people, other friends, uh, relatives, family. Someone could have introduced you to this person. This person has gets a lot of attention from their community. There's someone that other people are always like interested in or curious about or they look at this person a lot. The number seven could be relevant. Libra energy present here. Gemini energy very strong. Um, yeah, there, there, there could be like a, a wedding celebration here that is connected to you and this person in some way or a music or a concert. Something to do with either friends, family, relatives, neighbor, neighborhood also could be, or any community that the two of you are a part of. You could have been introduced via friends or doing something with other people as in the community. Healing heart. It could be that you're healing your heart, but um, your crush is healing from heartbreak right now, and they're freeing themselves from a toxic relationship or maybe an addiction, okay? That's what's going on with your crush right now. Um, give your relationship a chance. This person does want to give this a chance. Um, and you really do want this person to give this a chance and this person will give you a chance. Okay, we'll give this situation, this um, whatever it is going on. But you have to be patient. This person is asking you to be patient right now. Because what you're asking for is coming about. There are some unseen factors that need to occur first. Yeah, this person is e either dealing with a toxic community, addiction, or relationship that they are now freeing themselves from and healing from the heartbreak associated to this. But they could be in denial of the changes that they need to make here. So this is going to require a lot of patience if you want to give this a chance, okay? Semi-sextile. Yeah, you need to allow this person to grow. Um, allow them the time to grow. Um, this is showing you that you can have hope about this, but it's going to take some time. This person still needs to grow and closing out cycles. Yeah, Ten of Wands, this person has a lot on their plate right now. They're dealing with a lot of responsibilities, a lot of burdens. Um, and they could even be moving or relocating or working on a relocation, possibly. Knight of Voices, yeah, there could be air travel involved here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy again. Air travel, relocation. Um, this person is very confused and decisive right now. Um, right now, things are going to be a little bit confusing for the time being. This person is going through a spiritual awakening, and they're having to make one very big decision in their life, and they don't know where to start or how to go about it. 
But there is a potential here, the Four of Wands, of you um, having some sort of a celebration here in this connection. Um, definitely, I see there could be movement happening. Um, yeah, but this person, this is going to take some time though. But it could be that you see this person again at a celebration or you're going to be celebrating something with this person, but it's going to take some time because this person isn't in the most celebratory state right now. I see that more like in the future. I, I see in the future there's a chance for this to grow and to, to, to become something solid. But this person still has their choices open. We have um, spend quality time together, listen and talk to each other. So you're going to be able to spend quality time with this person. You're going to be able to talk to this person, like have conversations, possibly at nighttime under the moonlight. You're going to be able to spend quality time with this person and possibly share a kiss because they are sharing a kiss. Um, the number 46 could be relevant, the number 10 and the number 1. This person's definitely closing a cycle here, but they're trying to be patient with the cycle and patient with themselves. They really don't know what to do, who they can trust, where to go, what to do, how to do this. I don't, it's like this person is still weighing their options to make the best informed decisions. And this person is someone who maybe you're fantasizing a lot, but they could be fantasizing about you as well. Neptune, yeah, this person's still very confused. They're still closing out cycles of healing within their subconscious. Maybe you're dreaming about this person. This person could be dreaming about you. I'm definitely seeing this could be a long distance situation or this person is thinking about traveling or you will end up traveling together too. This person is focused on their finances right now. They're trying to get that under control. Uh, but this, there's a potential here for a partnership with that number two and the number seven here, which is the seventh house energy. Okay, let's get some, some, um, some letter tiles. Now we have E, D, N, X, I. This person could be an X, D, B, H, E, Q, R, I, O, T, A, Rita, T, dot, connect the dots, dot the eyes. This person is dotting the eyes in their life right now. They are connecting the dots. Henry, Brie, 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 um, Tay, okay, if you can see any other places, Eden, oh, the Garden of Eden, New England, New England, okay, if you can see anything else, um, if you can see anything else, Dita, Dita, if you can see anything else, um, just leave it in the comments. This is your reading. This is um, where this crush is heading. I hope this was helpful. Um, and of course, share in the comments how this resonated with you. It was a pleasure to read for all of you. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. Extra content is on Patreon. And if you like my healing bracelets, you can find a link in the description box with a special discount code. It was a pleasure to read for you guys. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye. Welcome. Option three, you chose the fire ant. So this is going to be your reading. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy your time here. Go ahead and subscribe if you do like my videos. Um, also press like because it helps me bring you more videos. And I hope to see how this resonates for you in the comment section. So moving on with your reading, I am seeing fire signs. So Sagittarius, Leo, 
Aries energy strongly in your chart, your crush's chart. It could be the case. Um, I'm seeing uh, gatherings. So maybe you met this person at a concert or at a party or a social event or just a place where many people are or other people that you know in common. Um, this is a team player. This person is a team player. They are humble. They are hardworking and they like to get things done. They are someone who likes to tick off the tasks from their list and just get things done. This person is someone who works very hard and work is a priority. Um, yeah. Okay, so maybe you're this way as well. Angel of Love. Okay, this is being blessed by the angelic realm. Um, this is definitely... The potential here is, is love, okay? So there's love here, heading toward love. The number 49 could be relevant, the number 4, but this person is very structured. Ooh, this could lead to engagement with an engagement ring, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. All right. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, well, even if it leads to a commitment, it will be um, a commitment that allows you to be free and to take control of your life. Um, it could be that where this is heading has something to do with breaking off an engagement um, or a partnership. Okay, we have do do some research. You need more information about the situation. Look into it further before proceeding, which is why you're on this reading here. Okay, seventh house. Yeah, this could definitely lead to marriage, okay, or a long-term commitment. Libra energy, partners, companionship, best friends, marriage. Okay, so it could mean someone's breaking off an engagement or a partnership to start a new one. It could lead to someone breaking off a previous promise or commitment. I don't know. Tower, yeah, it's definitely unexpected how this happens. It leads to crumbling of a faulty foundation. That's where it's heading. Um, something that you've worked on for a very long time or to be able to work on this, something like that. Um, seven of Wands. Fighting for this. Okay. And also defensiveness, but toward whom? Fighting for a commitment here. Okay. The Hierophant, the Hierophant, because you have a lot in common. But Ten of Swords, a breaking up of a commitment. Wow, this, this reading is so up and down all over the place. So breaking up of a, a previous commitment to start a new one, possibly, or um, breaking up of a commitment to start a new one. That's all I'm seeing. It's like a loop here. It's like a loop. Because it goes like commitment, breaking up, commitment, breaking up, commitment. It ends in commitment. So I see a complicated situation here. Mm -hmm. Because this was very unexpected. This is very unexpected. But yeah. So take what resonates because this is, um, it's confusing me. Hmm. Daily dedication though. It would lead to daily dedication toward each other. Love makes a difference. Okay, so maybe this person was, or you, in a previous commitment where there was no love. And the difference here is that someone feels that love for the first time and feels what love, love truly is for the first time. The number 31 could be relevant. The number 4. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So I feel the difference that has happened between a previous connection, either yours or this person, or maybe you're mirroring each other, is that before, um, where one of you thought love was there with someone else, it was actually full of hurt and a sense of insecurity and low self-worth. But now, because you come into contact with each other, that, that love that you see, what love truly is, makes all the difference and starts to shake up some faulty foundations from the past because this love is very healing of past hurts and provides that sense of security and allows one to be free to be themselves so that they see their worth in themselves without having to change for someone else. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, it's complicated. Now, if, if this is not your pile, go ahead and choose another one. 
Libra, strongly here, okay, a contract, definitely seeing a contract, Jupiter, a marriage contract, okay, and the number 12, after going through a journey to the subconscious, so it's going to trigger healing on a very subconscious level, this love that is shared is going to make, make it very clear that there was a difference between what was going on before and the difference between what true love is and what's going on here, which is of a higher level, because you're very spiritually connected, and there's true love here in a, what a true partnership can be in, in every sense of the way, not just in one or two practical ways. It's like there's love, there's emotions, there's um, it's practical, but it's also spiritual Yeah. So I, I feel before one of you was very much on the practical side, like trying to see what practically made sense in terms of love, fitting in their routines and the habits. And But now I'm seeing a sense that you can still make that part work, but you need more. One of you needs more, and you find it in this crush situation. Whoever this crush is, or whatever this represents, um, for some of you, it means uh, breaking away from a place or from a job situation to be able to commit to this or to relocate. Because I do see Jupiter there. Okay, soy. I just heard soy boy, so I don't know what that means. Soy, uh, soy. someone likes soy. G. S O G S O Y G O G O Y. Goy. Goya, Goya, T, Y, T, YouTube, G, I, M, Sim, S, Yum, Muy, someone here speaks Spanish, G, I, someone's been in the army, or is in the army, I, O, Iowa, a tag. Someone tagged someone. Gut immunity. S N gun. Ooh, guns. Okay, some that could be relevant. S A M. Nam, Ram, someone could be an Aries, E, R, someone works at the E, R, W, N, Gin, someone likes Gin Tonic or Gin Sugar, someone likes Sugar, L, Oil, someone works at an Oil, something to do with Oil or Oils, Irwin, I just saw Irwin, let let it be let's just get four more I ASMR Q USA E R hmm Mars someone's interested in Mars Nile, the Nile River. Gautier, the singer. Someone likes the song Go from Gautier? Used to know. Okay, well... Mr. and Mr. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Winnie, Winnie. Letty, Letty. Okay, so um, take what resonates. If you see any other initials here, if you want to share it in the comment section, go ahead and do that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this clarified any doubts that you may have had. 
and I looked forward to see um, how this resonates for you. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting interrupted here. My door keeps opening. It must be my cat. Anyway, um, it was a pleasure to read for you guys. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. If you like my healing bracelets, you can go ahead and find a link in the description box with the discount code. And if you want to be notified of future videos on the channel, go ahead and, and hit the, the, the bell to be notified. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Have a beautiful day and see you next time. Bye. Welcome all of you who chose option four with this hyena. Just want to take a moment to thank everyone for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. So if you're new here, welcome. Subscribe if you like the channel that way. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified of future uploads on the channel. Um, and if you like the video, go ahead and add a like there. Okay, so fire signs. Fire signs are coming out quite a lot here. Um, Leo Sagittarius Aries, possibly strongly in one of your chart, either you or your crush. Hyena, someone here uh, laughs a lot, likes to laugh a lot, or makes hyena signs, signs, sounds, when they're laughing possibly. There could be a connection to Africa. Um, there's a lot hidden that you don't see about this person. Hmm, hmm, okay, let's see, what else? Oh, why is this going all funny? Let's start recording. Okay, why is it doing that? Okay, maybe hopefully it focuses now. Sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron could be significant. The number 40, the number 4. It seems like you have a telepathic connection to this person. You either see each other in dreams or you have strong visions about each other. Hmm. Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Um, this person is a little bit self-indulgent right now. They're focusing on themselves, uh, trying to build their own self-worth, healing, doing shadow work, okay? Trying to appreciate themselves for who they are. Yeah, this could be true love, okay? This could definitely lead to true love. And it says this is a romance of a lifetime. So one of you is doing a lot of shadow work, maybe the two of you. To be able to love another truly and fully, you have to kind of work on yourself first and appreciate yourself so that you can know how to appreciate someone else. Um, you've got the power here. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do this. You can heal. This person is focused on empowering themselves, and I feel this relationship. I see it. I see it becoming a relationship. Can become a very empowering one. Yeah, just let things flow right now. I feel things are going to flow quite nicely. There's going to be a try, and there's going to be harmony. Um, you enjoy each other's company. You energize each other. It's easy. It's supportive. And. I feel it brings both of you a sense of things that you like. You do things for each other that really are good. Like you love each other the way you want to be loved. Almost like that. Page of voices. So you could talk online or you could communicate via email or phone. Or There's a certain shyness coming through and a curiosity getting to know each other, uh, spying on each other, maybe your crush is spying on you if you're not doing this, researching, um, getting to know you, learning more about you, very curious about each other, about you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, the moon. Um, yeah, this person is um, researching a lot how to heal or they're doing a lot of shadow work and a lot of this person is not in the best place right now. This person is trying to flow with life, but they're, this person is quite sad or depressed at the moment. Or maybe this is you, but I feel this is your person. They're, I feel this crush is going to take both of you on a journey of um, diving deep into the emotions and the subconscious and the fears to be healed so that you both learn to appreciate yourselves individually so that... You, this is what true love teaches you, to really appreciate yourself, and it, it helps you with your self-worth. 
and it allows you to focus on yourself. It's not selfish. Um, the moon. There could be a secret element to this. Knight of Pentacles. This is something that can grow very strong, surely, um, and prosperous and healthy and sturdy and long-lasting with time. But this is going to take some time is what I'm seeing here because someone is, is going through a death and a rebirth right now. I feel your crush is someone who likes to make the decisions and likes to be in charge here of the situation. And I feel your crush is really working on empowering themselves right now. And it's going to be very empowering for, for, for the both of you. It, it's going to help both of you get right to the heart of the matter of what's going on. But there's more than meets the eye here. So it's almost like they don't want me to reveal too much about this. All, all they want you to know is that this is true love. And this is the romance of a lifetime. So I feel it. a lot's going to happen over the course of many years with this person. But it's like both of you are going to go on a journey together and flow together and you're going to discover a lot about each other. The number 22 is there, so that's telling me that you're on the right path with this person. But it's like they don't want to tell you where this is heading. They want you to flow with it and stay in it if you want to, and if you don't want to, leave. But the idea is that there's a lot of growth here. This could definitely lead to a partnership because we do have 7th house energy here and Libra. We have Scorpio and the Sun. So the potential here is for you two to bring out the Sun in each other's lives. Coming from the darkness of the Moon into the Sun together through vulnerability, intimacy, depth, and partnership. So uh, uh, with the Sun in the seventh house, I see this could lead to a marriage that would be long-lasting, but the journey there is... is um, as a journey of love, like in every sense of the way, with with all its dark and its and its and its light and with all the ups and downs. But I'm seeing endurance, I'm seeing a nice flow, but it's like it's very empowering to both of you, but it's going to help both of you go and dig deep into your hearts, into your subconscious, and see what needs to come out to heal, basically. And intimacy. I see happiness together and intimacy um, through this journey. So it's going to take you through quite quite the, the death and a rebirth. It's like once you once you start this journey with this person, I'm seeing a journey your life is going to change in a, in a very, very big way. And you look back and it's never going to be the same. Because this is true love. This is intimacy, true partnership, best friends, um, joy, growth together. So you're going to grow a lot together. And, and it's deep. I don't say, I'm not going to say you finish each other's sentences, but you definitely do know what's going on with each other. Even if you don't verbally express it, you feel it. Okay? Definitely a lot of depth of emotions here. Very sensual connection and, and true, true love. We have S, M, M, S, D, D, S, M, U, N. Nudes. Are you going to send each other nudes? H, U, Q, L, I, India, indie, someone likes indie music, indie movies, independent filmmakers, G, G, I, Jin, uh, army, someone was in the army, is in the army, R, Ren, L, smile, Hudson, 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 I, Houdini, E, T, Lit, Light, Light as a Feather, Left, W, Few, O, 
O S K E. I just heard that Brazilian brand, Osclin. I. I. U. Three more. W P. So you could see initials here. G P G. Ooh. Pi. Milf. Tile. Type. Okay, well, you can look at the, the letter tiles and see if you come up with any names or anything that is significant to you. And let me know in the comment section. Okay, I hope this was helpful. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. And if you like my healing bracelets, you can find a link in the description box with a special discount code. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Have a beautiful day and see you next time. Bye.